You know what the craziest thing is? We opened up an entire booster box of Paldean Fates the other day on my channel. If you haven't seen that video, very, very crazy one. But, opened the whole thing and I've almost completed the entire of this main set. The only card, like one of the only cards are missing, that's not an EX card, it's a trainer card. And I would have thought we should have been able to get it, but guess what it was? It wasn't a trainer of like a personality, it wasn't just a regular item like this. It was none other than an Ultra Ball. How did I not pull an Ultra Ball out of opening what? Like 360 cards? Oh, I don't know, I was just thinking about that. Like we're about to open 100 packs of this set and like the most sought after card I'm going for right now is an Ultra Ball. Anyway, in today's video, we're gonna crack open 100 Paldean Fates boosters to try and see how many secret rares and crazy textured shinies we can possibly get throughout all of these packs. And I wanna put the absolute craziest twist on this because if we pull both the Charizard and Mew secret rare, I'm gonna give away whatever packs remain. And you know what guys, that's not even enough because if we get to pack number 50 and we still haven't pulled both of the Charizard and the Mew cards, we're gonna open up this ultra valuable Charizard mystery box and give away whatever's inside. So I don't wanna tell you what to do, but I would say at least stay to the 50th pack opening and see if we get to open that mystery box and give away what's ever inside. Because either way, by leaving a comment on today's video, you are gonna go home a very, very lucky uh, YouTube commenter. I don't know, have we got a name for the unlisted leaps? Oh, sugar! Already off the bat, Annihilate Shiny right there. Another one that we haven't got. I'm also collecting- <gasps> I'm collecting the set, so I need everything. Oh, Penny as well! Oh, Sugar, look at that! Shiny Annihilate, absolutely massive. Followed up by Penny. Penny's one of the really sought after cards in Japanese. Look at the Eevee on the back, and then look at the Pokeball. So let's put Penny for light. Cyclers are hollow, you really got overshadowed. If that's how this episode's starting off, if that's how the luck is gonna circulate, I've got a really, really good feeling about today's episode. So make sure you strap in. Whoever's the uh, YouTube commenter that takes home the rest of the packs, you could be going home with a lot if we go and get Mew or Charizard very soon. I kind of like doing these episodes because there's like always this weird chance, especially in the first like 10 minutes of the video, you're always thinking, dude, it could happen. It could literally happen where I give away 90 boosters of this and it'd be pretty funny because I really do need those 90 packs to help me complete the set. Where is the Ultra Ball? Why is that such a difficult trainer to try and get? I have no idea. I know there's more pressing cards that I probably should be hunting for and talking about all these full arts like the Gardevoir. But to be honest, I don't know if you guys uh, keep up with that. Oh, we didn't get this. We got Scizor, didn't we? We got Shiny Scizor. Man, it's going to be tough trying to keep up with what Shinies we do have. But we don't have uh, Scyther. Oh, it's a regular... Gravid, and then we also got Professor's Research for the 10,000th time. We'll take a shiny Scyther any day of the week. But yeah, I don't know if you keep up with the Unlisted Leaf trivia. I don't really enjoy Gardevoir cards as much as everyone else. I know that's a hot take, probably the hottest take to get me cancelled, but that's fine. I just never gravitated towards Gardevoir. So if we get that, it's fine because I need it in the set, but it's not one of my chase cards. Oh! We doubled up? Are you joking me? There are so many full arts. Okay, you know what? I'm not all mad either, and the reason I'm giving away all my doubles today, we're going to do a crazy giveaway, that's because tomorrow I'm heading to a trade day for Paldean Fates exclusively, and I think that's where I can complete the set. If you guys want to see that video, demolish the like button. Let me know down below, but... Oh! Please be something good! Mew, Mew full art! Oh, I thought the blue was it! It's Glamora G- Oh, not GX. EX full art card right there. Didn't you think? Because the Mew full art has a beautiful blue as well. But we haven't got many- Oh! It's Chibi form! Yes! It's Chibi form! Clive, are you kidding me? What a start! Oh, this is massive. This is massive. I know you're thinking Ando. It's a trainer card. I could not give a- Trust me, you give a- Look at this. Sylveon's up here, and you got all these cameos. Psyduck! I didn't notice Psyduck, actually. Yeah, I'm not even joking. I think this is my second biggest chase card of the whole set, just because I really enjoyed the artwork. If I could double up on this, that would be awesome. I love that we get a full art shiny, and it's been so overshadowed. Probably the best part about this set. I'll also point out, this is only 50 packs, so once we get to the end of this, I can unbox the mystery box. We can pull... Maybe a full art Charizard shiny, that would be nuts. PSA 10, give that away. And then we got the other 50 to unbox after. Oh, Garganackle! We'll take that. Can we get something else? 
Shin Xiao, I really want, I'm sick of these professor researchers, so many. I really want the Pikachu shiny. Someone pointed out how expensive it was. It was like 50 bucks. I don't know if it still is, but yeah, Pikachu shiny would be awesome. That would be, is that a textured card? That would be a really, really big chase card. Another odd baby shiny that I am keen as a bean to try. Oh my, why? There is over 170 cards and we're doubling up. Scyther, we can trade that, that's okay. Someone's bound to not have that. Or maybe Scyther's like a common shiny. But I really want the Snorlax one. So if I get Ditto, if I get Snorlax, I'd be really, really happy. But I think we need to low-key go for the secret rares. And especially, that's what you guys be rooting for. Everyone's like, Ando, shush! Oh, Fleetle as well! I think the pull rates for shining Pokemon are one in four packs. So that's really, really positive. We should get a lot. Raichu's also nice shiny, but yeah, I know you guys are Ando. Just stop going for the shinies and go for those full art secret rares. We need the Mew. We need the Charizard. I want to win the West, the West of the packs. <laughs> so, okay, maybe we'll switch gears. This is where we do it. This is where we go for a full art secret rare. Oh, and we go and get another one. How do we go and get so many doubles? Glamora EX full art shiny again. I'm not confident these are cards that little Timmy's gonna want to trade for tomorrow. I need ammunition to get what I'm looking for. Something someone's going to want to trade for when I need the Snorlax Swoobat. Come on. Oh! I don't know if I've already pulled or not. I wasn't looking, but yep. Done. Ultra Ball. Yes. And a full art charge. That. That, my friends, it's called the Piece de Resistance. It is the perfect booster. Judge and an Ultra Ball. You will not meet another PokeTuber getting that excited over an Ultra Ball, except me. Now, come on, something insane. You, oh, by the way, you know what's a crazy fact? So the Mew that we're going for, what am I, this easily, by far my favorite card in the set. Ah, oh, Espathora. Not too bad, we have pulled a bunch of these. It was the most common card that I managed to get when I opened it up the set in Japanese. So, yeah, it's not bad. It's Terraform, it's EX, but I reckon we're gonna double up a lot in that card. But the crazy part about Mew EX, the card I really, really want that I have a bad feeling I'll just never pull. Scrafty. Curly up, come on. Nah. <sighs> Gold Dango. He's going up in price. So usually what happens, right? Brand new Paldean set comes out. Little Timmy's at the front. He buys all his ETBs. Everyone's excited. Man, you need these Pokemon cards. They're selling for like $10,000 a pop. And about a week or two after the set comes out, prices start to go down. Oh, look at this. Da 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 da. It's Flamigo! I'm also really excited for the binder recap at the end. But anyway, new set comes out, prices usually decline, kind of like a roller coaster if you're at Six Flags. They go down really fast. But, with the Mew, because it's doing two things. Artwork, perfect. I love it. One of the best, easily the best card in the set. But apparently it's really playable as well. And you'll see a video come out on my channel soon of how I talk about competitive side of the TCG, how much I love it. We are going to pull 10,000 Ultra Balls now. I don't need it anymore. But yeah, it's really, really playable. And if you combine a playable Pokemon card with fantastic artwork, you're going to get what I call the perfect recipe. And that's for a price of the card to just go up and up. And that's what the Mew's doing. It's, I think, the only card to go up in price since release. So it started below 100, now it's worth over $100. So that'd be pretty cool. Charizard, I think, has just remained the same. Charizard's just a hard card to get. So I just don't think it's going to change. Charizard's also the most popular Pokemon in the world. So naturally, it'll just be the most expensive card to try and track down. But something really interesting are the pull rates, which I talked a little bit about at the end of my booster box opening. So if you watch that right to the end, you saw the recap. I talked a little bit how the pull rates are just so wild in this thing. They go, they make no sense. So you'd think like Charizard and you think the Mew, they have the craziest ones. I wonder what ratio you're pulling those cards. Ah! Yes! Shin Pao! Shin Pao as well! That's my boy! I I am a ride or die Shen Pao supporter. I love this. All glossy and then embossed. It's raised. Man, I'm so happy. Shen Pao's my favorite um, gold card out of the set. Easily, by a mile. And also links into what I'm kind of saying. We, you're thinking Charizard and Mew. Most rare cards, surely the, the hardest ratio is like maybe one in a hundred packs. I have the ratio written down here too somewhere. Look at this. So, what are you thinking? Should be the Charizard. No, 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 no. The gold cards are the hardest to pull. 
You know what the ratio for those is? One in every 62 boosters will be a gold card. The hardest to pull in the whole set. Oh, okay, Endo, that makes sense. Fair enough. That means the gold cards should be the most expensive. No. I don't think they even make it. Oh, yes, it's Entei. I forgot Entei is a shining card in this set. Really, really happy about that. I have a weird feeling that that Entei will just sell for a good amount of money. So, yeah. Gold cards don't even make it in the top 10 most expensive cards, which is just crazy considering they're more rare than the Charizard and Mew, but then the Charizard and Mew. What's their ratio? I can dig it up in one second, but I want to find out what the shiny is. Luxio! For a minute, if I didn't check the checklist, I would have thought that's Raikou. Okay, so we got Luxio shiny as well. Take that, Charmander, hopefully shadowing the inevitable pull of the Charizard. And what's the ratio? It is one in every 58 boosters. Oh, okay. So the giveaway, it's not in your favor, little Timmy. The giveaway, because that, that would mean if it's one in 58 packs, we should only get one big hit this whole episode. Because to get both, if we're going off these ratios, we're going to need to open at least like 116 packs. And that would require us not getting any other secret rare. But I think now we've got the gold card. I'm a little bit nervous. But I'm not completely given up. The best part is these boosters are all jumbled up. As you saw with all the doubles at the start, it could be anything, including a full art judge. But we're just going to move past that. <laughs> We've almost finished the first 50. This went way too fast. I'm flying through this thing. Okay, but, 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 but. I am so excited because the mystery box, I don't even know. It could be a Charizard. And it could be a banger PSA 10 shiny full art McDougal that I think everyone's going to want to enter into and try to win. And I think I'm going to cry myself to sleep because I'm like, I should have kept it. That's okay. The one giveaway, I have one giveaway memory of where I'm like, oh, I should have kept those boosters. And it was a silver, I don't know if you guys remember, I gave away a bunch of silver Tempest packs to a YouTube comment. Because I because I opened a bunch. I think we hit the card I was looking for. Nothing, Magmortal. And I was like, I'm going to give away the rest of the packs. Just like this. If we put both the cards, I'd give away the rest. So I gave away the rest of the Silver Tempest. A week later, the giveaway winner, either on Instagram or email, sends me a picture. And you know what she pulled? I can't make this up. The one card that I was dying to get. Lugia. She pulled the flipping Lugia in the storm. That was one giveaway where I was like, I should have just opened those packs. I can't believe I gave away the packs that had my one chase card. This will probably be the case when I give away whatever's inside that Charizard mystery box. You watch it be like a first edition shining Charizard from Neo or something, PSA 10. I'm gonna be like, oh no, <laughs> this is the most expensive, look at that. The most expensive giveaway we've done ever. Squawkabilly. So the other, oh, the other cards we need in the main set, I should actually be more concentrated on are the regular EXs. We're not missing a bunch. As I said, I think we're only missing probably 10. So when we get to these reverse slots, you obviously want something here, you want something there, you want those shining cards, but you really want these EX cards. They're gonna start to add up and they're gonna be cards that we genuinely really do need for this set. So I'm gonna be more appreciative of that EX section. And I hope you guys are getting good stuff in the code cards because we're giving away a lot. Technically, we're giving away a hundred of those bad boys. You ready, Don Fan? Backpack, Rolts! We'll take it, God for not a big fan, but we're gonna take the rolls. <gasps> come on, come on, come on, triple cheeseburger. We have the shot of like the closest thing to a God pack right now. Shiny rolls, look at that. Textured to oblivion and back. Shiny palafin. I think these cards should be, I don't know. I do you agree. Shiny palafin, wug trio, and poor me shiny should have been a lot rarer than they are. It's a weird shiny like glossy subset. But look at this, triple cheeseburger. <sighs> It's hard. That's actually, re it's really difficult to get the triple cheeseburger pull. But again, that's probably like, that's God pack status, to be honest. Getting three. <gasps> that was something. Three and one. Nimona. Rare candy. Best ball. Charmeleon. Yeah, this one I'm talking, it's so funny. Don't you think? These are cool. It's like really cool artwork. They're shiny. Technically, you could pump, pump them off as like full art cards. They just should have been a lot rarer. I feel like their ratios are not, yeah, they're not correct. You get too many of them. But you can always make the argument, you're like, oh, and if you make everything too rare, then like it's gonna be impossible to pull anything. Yeah, I just, you could have evened it up a bit. What, Capsa Kid got a shiny? Is there a Capsa Kid plush toy? I don't think there is. And if there is, someone link me in on Instagram, DM me right now. 
Cap hashtag Capsicid plush toy. I want to see it. Why? Out of every full lot, we're doubling up on these Paldean students. Man, we're ne look at this, we're nearly done. We've nearly opened 50 packs. Okay. I'm really worried because we've nearly opened 50 packs and I haven't even seen one of the crazy cards yet. I mean, look, Gardevoir, Ionu. Like, I just take an Ionu. Even though, like, I don't particularly really want Ionu. I do need it, and it would be nice. We'll get Nimona. That's completely fine. Funny we get that trainer when we talk about Ionu. Ionu would be really nice. I've never pulled one. I haven't pulled Ionu in the past couple sets that she's been there, so it'd be nice to get that. It'd be nice to just pull a bunch of things and see what I can get out of 100 boosters. I would have thought we get a lot more bangers. Fridgy backs. So maybe in the latter half we'll get more full arts. We are getting a lot of shinings though. Rolks. Oh, let's do it. We've probably got 10 packs remaining, so probably one ETB's worth. And this is where it is. This could all end, by the way. We could do two packs right now. You see the Charizard. You see the Mew? That's it. It's over. Ultra Ball, I'm sick of you. You're not allowed to show up anymore. Annihilate. Oh my goodness. We're doing it, aren't we? We're unboxing the Charizard mystery box right now. This is going to get hectic. Unlisted Leaf, that's a sign. Come on. Let me... Any textured full art. Because I think it's like, yeah, it's kind of like the big four that you have to go after. Ionu, Gardevoir, Charizard, Mew. They're probably the big four that I'd be going for. Clive as well was one. You could go for other gold cards as well. Maybe you really like Ting Lu or Wu Chin over Chen Pao. You're dead wrong. That's not it. Chen Pao is always the answer to everything. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta tidy the setup too. These cards are everywhere. Oh no, oh no, it's really going to come down to the final 50, isn't it? You know what, that's not too, that's not the end of the world because you could still hit what I need to hit and give away maybe like a booster box worth of this set, which would be cool. And I'll also do a little speed opening of the last 50 as well, because I know you guys are kind of sick of seeing the set. I have completed it within one booster box opening, which I'm super proud of. But let's do it, we've got like the final seven packs, let's go home strong. One from the back, water type, Cotney. Lapras, we got Mastiff. This could be it. Ionu, you are just... Oh my... Why? We're... I'm bringing about 1,700 Paldean students to trade day tomorrow. If you'd like a Paldean students, I may be just giving them out for free at this point. I just don't think people are going to want to trade for them. I reckon they're going to be more of a common card than anything else. Chime Echo. Come on, Moonlit Hill. Mm. Oh, Gold Dango. Goldango, I'd love to- I cannot wait to see Goldango as another full art card. I love the previous set where he joined up with Gimme Ghoul. Thought that was a really, really nice card. I hope they do something similar again, where they do these cards that join up together. Clive, Curlia, Charmander. Oh my goodness. Do you reckon we can do it? It is just shy of an ETB. By the way, ETBs come with nine packs now. Whoever may- I don't know what happened there. Nine packs is the most frustrating amount. So to make a hundred packs for today's video, I've had to open, like, I had to open over, what was it, a case worth, which was so frustrating. That's a good one. We'll take it. Wug Trio right there. Wigglet and Wug Trio, highlights of the set. Come on, full art shiny. It's so difficult. We are getting a really good variety of regular shinies, and I will give you on the recap, let you know how many that you're expecting to pull out of 100, what my ratio for the set is. So far though, it looks dangerously accurate. We're gonna ignore that Noivern. To what I read out before, where the gold card's about 1 in 60 something, 62, and then the full art shinies, they're gonna be like 1 in 58, which is, yeah, we're gonna get one this whole opening. I hope that's not the case. Oh, nice! I love this toxicity. Purple and blue works so well. The colors and the texture, I'm feeling confident. 100 packs was definitely the right move to try and help complete the set. I do enjoy that. Swing you around, we've got the Fampy, D Denny, Noibat, Trimeco, Curlia. Look at all these cards, it's insane! <gasps> yes! We broke it! We've broken the record! We're on pack 50, and I pulled Wu Chin Gold Card! Now I've got three! I pulled Mariah on yesterday, I pulled Chen Pao just then, and now Wu Chin EX! But alright, ladies and gentlemen, I promised if we hit 50 boosters and I still hadn't got any of the chase cards, Charizard or Mew, I'm gonna give away whatever is inside of this Charizard mystery box. It could be an, ugh, I hate that noise. Could be anything at all from all these cards I'm gonna display on screen right now. I'm hoping it's the rarest one for you guys. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we're giving away. This is box number 64. I think when I take this off, it's gonna reveal it. 
You ready? Holy smokes, I'm kind of nervous. Oh! Oh my! What? Oh! Oh my god, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm giving away a rainbow rare V Star Charizard. Oh my goodness, it's BGS Mint 9. Full art rainbow rare Charizard from Brilliant Stars. Are you kidding? Oh, oh my goodness, leave a comment on today's video. Could be about the opening today, could be about whatever. At minimum, even if we open all these 50 and get nothing, you're getting one of these bad boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is definitely a way to start this opening off right here. Are you a big, oh, there was a full up there. Are you a big fan of it compared to Shining Fates and Hidden Fates? Because this is the trilogy. This is the third installment of the Shining set. There's a full up coming up. So I'm curious if you compare it to the other two. Do you like, ah, oh, is it in the slot? I think it is, I think it is, I think it is, I think it is. Oh, come on, please, please. Charizard. Oh, it's Neuven EX Full Art card! That's close, I will take it, because let's be honest, we haven't got that many Full Arts this episode. The texture on these are really, really nice. It is a decent, like, thick amount of texture. So if you've opened up Power Damn Fates, you, you can qualify to uh, leave this comment. If you've opened up all three, actually. Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, or Power Damn Fates. What are you doing? What's your top three? I want to know. Oh, have we pulled him? I don't think we have. I reckon we just pulled the, chi the Chibi form. He is a very, very common full art. From what I've seen with openings, it seems to be a really common full art card. So we'll take that as well. But you should do a rank them. For me, it's probably gonna go Hidden Fates number one, because that's the OG, that's what started it. You've always gotta respect the elders, so Hidden Fates goes number one, Powdan Fates takes number two, and Shining Fates goes third? Yet? Okay, we're kind of on fire here. But it feels kind of bad putting Shining Fates last because. I guess Shining Fates really helped mold what this set has become too. I'm kind of relieved though, knowing that we have completed the entire main set. For a moment yesterday when I was like building out my binder and I was trying to build it for the booster box video, I was thinking to myself, man, would it be possible to go this whole 100 pack opening and still be missing a uh, Ultra Ball? I just, that would be my luck. Just not having the Ultra Ball on, on, uh, on deck. Another thing I also noticed, this is weird. It's a throwback to when I opened up the Japanese, right? Oh, this is something for sure. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's Noibat. Look at that. Look at that lime green sort of head he's got, right? It's almost like a baby blue. That is really, really cool. Okay, Noibat Shiny will take you as well. And Houndstone. Another thing I noticed when I was opening up Shining Treasures EX over in Japanese, right? Is that I pulled a gold card. I think I pulled Kar Mar no, Karida. I pulled a gold card out of my Japanese set and I left the gold card on the table. I had it in a sleeve. No, I don't think I did. I reckon I just put it on the table and I left it there for like a couple hours. And in Australia right now, it's summertime. So it's really, really hot. Electric, I hate that electric generator card. Can we do something here? Nothing. So it was a couple hours, gold card's on the table. I came back and I've never seen a more bowed card in my life. And then I read an article this morning about the gold cards in this set, how they're printed exactly the same as Japanese, because a lot of people always complain. Mimikyu. A lot of people are always complaining about how Japanese cards are printed so much higher quality, and as English collectors, we're getting absolutely cooked uh, with the quality of our cards. So, oh, nice! Nice! Neuvern EX Full Art! Surely someone's missing a Neuvern EX and I'll be able to trade for it tomorrow. I did see an article about how the gold cards printed exactly the same. And that leads to the English ones having exactly the same problem as the Japanese ones. So if you left your- Oh! Yes! It's not the one I want, but we still managed to get a full art shiny Mew! Heck yeah! Is that a print one? Yeah, look at that. One down there, one down there. Why? That's really bad. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that on camera. It goes right down here, right down there. It's okay, because these are my raw collection anyway. I just want to keep the must set for myself. I don't sell this stuff. But it's just a little frustrating when it's really obvious and it looks like he folded the card. You know, okay, okay. This is also a controversial question. I did want to ask this the other day, but I thought, nah, too many arguments. What Pokemon has the best color as a shiny? For me personally, I think Greninja. Greninja goes off and that's so hard. You know what, also, I do rate that Machamp has a lime green shiny. Do you think Machamp shiny being lime green was actually a copy of the Incredible Hulk? Surely it was inspired. I know you're all gonna say no, but what is it? Bilbo, yes! Okay, we're taking home. This is honestly, 100 packs might be a bit extreme. It might not be the way to go, especially if you're looking for like 
because of how much these packs are to buy individually, you gotta buy them in ETBs. If we're looking financially, it's not the move if you just want the Charizard, the Mew, those big like Ionu, just the big full art cards. You just buy them. You can buy the all four for cheaper than you can buy a hundred packs. But if you want these individual ones and you're going, oh nice, one trio. I do love that card. It should be rarer. But if you do want like, yeah, a master set, you want a bit of fun, it's kind of the move, kind of the move when the sets first come out because it's the cheapest way to do it. What do we go and get? It always happens. We get one of those like full art illustration rares and then all of a sudden we go and get another one. They're always back to back. Can we do something here? Oh, Clive, I told you, I didn't I tell you? This guy would be cropping up a whole bunch. I think it was Deep Pocket Monster, uh, my friend Pat Flynn. He opened up probably the same amount, maybe a case of this. And I saw him get so many Clives. What rule? Did we, no, I reckon I got this one in Japanese. I think this is our first English one. He's looking happy. And you guys, like, I don't know if you like me, I just keep forgetting. Two cards, the rest could be yours. Like, this is you know, it's still a good amount. I'm glass half empty right here. We get a good amount of packs to give away. And all it's gonna take is potentially one of the full arts. You know, oh, Saber, whoa! Palafin and right, I thought that was something too. Look at that! That is awesome. Saber like gold? Half of the, it's hard, it's hard. I haven't memorized all 170 cigarettes, so it's the first time I'm seeing a lot of these cards. Come on, one more full art. Squawkabilly EX. Yeah, this is, this is not the last video. I want to do one more video after this, completing the whole set. How I go about it, I gotta think about this. I'm gonna try my best tomorrow at trade day. Oh, oh no way! Another Palafin! Justice for these pull rates. Okay, Palafin to the side. Look at that! We got the evolution as well. We're making moves here. Okay, but yeah, tomorrow at trade day, that's definitely my plan. Complete as much as possible. I also think this set is too big for many people to have, for everyone to have what I need. So I'll still be missing cards. So we're gonna have to go about it very interestingly. But if you haven't, click the subscribe button. Um, and definitely have the notifications on because hopefully one of the next uploads after this will be Ando coming through, finishing everything off. All that we're getting now are just doubles. Oh no, I'm so nervous. That's all we have left. Really? A hundred packs of this set and I'm not gonna be able to do it. Oh, I feel a bit disappointed. Oh my, and what? This is a sick joke. I'm getting pranked right now. <laughs> Valdane Sins again. Man, I wonder if people want that card. Probably not. So this is the fifth to last pack. We are well and truly at the end of today's video. Oh, okay. Four remaining. This is so much pressure on four boosters. Seriously. Two big hits. To be honest, we're doubling up on Shinies too. Um, to be honest with you guys, I hate to say it, but it screams true to the ratio. How we pulled the two gold cards, they're definitely the big boys. They're definitely the big hits. And that I think that has sucked up our opportunity to get anything in that full art shiny realm right now. It's desperate hours. I don't know if you can tell, I get, <laughs> I'm so invested in this. My like, I don't know, I stopped talking because I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, is it really going down like this? I get two into my videos. Okay, seriously, two packs remaining. That's it. We're gonna have to do the milkshake maker. We're gonna have to bring back some old things. Brrr. Seriously, we're gonna have to bring back some old things. Mailman Monday might pop up in the sub box this Monday. That's how wild things may have to get. You imagine. The Mew is in this pack. You imagine, Charizard Mew. Nah, that would be it. I hope there is the most epic, crazy music behind me and you are, you are watching this video like on the edge of your seat. <sighs> this is it, two boosters, two chances. You'd be getting, I'd give you some dust off the uh, counter if we managed to get both, because I've run out of packs to give away. Lantern, prime mate. It's really come down, it's come down to the wire. I've had a good time at the office, we pulled two gold cards, but this really shows, with 100 opened, how difficult this set's gonna be. Oh, I pray Charizard is in here. Come on. That would be... You wouldn't even be able to write a better ending. Come on, Mankey. Clive. Charmeleon. That's got to be a sign. Boom. Oh, what the heck? We got a Terraform Fortress. It's a full art. That's totally fine. 
let's have a recap what all this looks like in my binder and work out where we are for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and definitely enter in for the Charizard. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely cooking right now because that 100 pack opening made such a big difference in our binder. I cannot wait to show you guys, but make sure you're leaving a comment because anyone that leaves a comment could win that Charizard card that we pulled halfway through the episode. And I thought we did really good. Anyway, this right here, this is the main set. And as I said, there are way more secret rares than cards in the main set, but we are like three cards of completing the entire thing. And after tracking down that pesky Ultra Ball, we have finally got the final card of the main set. Now, Ando did do an oopsie, and I have accidentally not put Squawkabilly in this set. I know, I don't know what the issue was, but it's an easy fix. You're just gonna go to the end of the binder, move every card one step forward, and you'll be able to put that all back in normal position. But I'm too tired to do it now. I've already started building out the rest of the binder here to show you guys what it looks like when you have this many gaps in a binder. Like, I'm not joking, this is a four across binder, and there are seas of just blank areas. It gets me so worried, like, I've got to trade for all of this, or somehow pull all these shinings. But, look at this. Row one, row two, fully complete. And row three right there in the middle, one cut off. I have nearly done an entire page of Ultra Rares. Do you know how satisfying that feeling is? It was awesome putting that together. Anyway, my favorite two pulls of the episode. Actually, you know what? My favorite three pulls of the episode. Gold Shen Pao, Penny with Umbreon on it, and that Chibi Clive. Very, very happy with those three. And you know what? Getting two rows complete, I'm stoked with that. These shinies though, I don't know what we're gonna do. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you wanna see another Pow Dan Face episode where I complete the entire set? Drop a comment for the Charizard, but most of all, thank you so much for watching, and keep on gaming.